Check this out. If you are out here in Japan, specifically across Honshu and parts of Shikoku, you want to be watching a little tropical system towards your south. Now, if you follow the Japan Meteorological Agency, though, they say there's a minor tropical depression out there, but not much more than that. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center showing you the track here actually has a tropical storm. So it's not a named system, and it really all boils down to dynamics here, or semantics as far as meteorology is concerned. Is this a tropical system with a warm core low is or is it being impacted by these upper level winds aloft actually you can pull up these upper level satellite derived winds you can see what i'm talking about right here you have that dip in the jet stream starting to influence the core of the systems right in there so it's getting blown off towards the east it does have good outflow off towards the north here and even just here towards the south but that inflow is just kind of um the, the analogy i always use if you watch me for a long time you know what i'm about to say uh is if you have a birthday cake and you blow on the can and the flame kind of tips towards the side and eventually if you blow hard enough it extinguishes said flame that's what's happening out here when these systems get enveloped in that jet stream but my point is this is all a really it's perspective and what you think a tropical system is so at the joint typhoon warning center it's so interesting they say a tropical storm with winds 35 gusting up to 45 knots yet over at the japan meteorological agency a minor tropical depression out there but no warnings at all being put out on this system because they see it hitting this front and just basically getting pulled towards the north and east so um yeah, it's semantics. I think it really boils down to uh, the dynamics in the center of the storm system, but the impacts, it's going to be a bunch of rain. It's putting semantics aside as far as the center of the storm system. You do want to look ahead as we go ahead through Monday, Tuesday, and even over towards Wednesday. Watch that low kind of get squeezed skewed off towards the north and east so there's your center of circulation but out ahead of it we're going to be looking at plenty of moisture hitting the southeastern slopes of the Japanese Alps here so basically from Shikoku across the Key Peninsula uh, extending out towards the Kinki region the Izu Peninsula uh, even over those towards Chiba you have that moisture on shore flow that's going to bring some pretty decent amounts of precipitation before this all kind of blows over by the end of the week into the weekend take a look actually at the ECMWF precipitation uh, outlook here. This is the model-based forecast, but it does handle pretty good in uh, Japan, especially along the eastern slopes here. And you can see some of these areas in the darker purples, actually, this is indicating four to 500 millimeters, uh, enough to cause some flooding in a non-tropical system. Pretty uh, pretty potent here, and that's something you want to watch out for. Now, Tokyo still can give up. 50 maybe 60 millimeters here but along the immediate coastline even higher than that so uh the southeastern slopes a nice little southern coast low more or less here that is where you're going to be seeing the heaviest amount of this precipitation so really the mid part of this week here across japan it's going to be like a it's going to feel like a decent system during the Mayu Bayou season, the rainy season. I find this whole situation rather interesting. I mean, uh, because uh, the fact that JTWC is calling this tropical storm, JMA has nothing on it. And like I said, it's all goes boils back to semantics. One more example of this. This is your winds at the surface. And you can kind of see the bulk of the wind field is on the eastern side of this storm system based on this model analysis. And then if we pull up and take a look at the upper level winds, this is looking at that jet stream level about 300 millibars pull back the picture a little bit you can see how that jet stream is wrapping in here and you have that flow coming in from the west towards the east and that is really what's going to be influencing this area so i, I just took a look at the satellite out there i was like "Ooh, look a little tropical storm but i was baffled to see jma had nothing on it anyways it's just one of those things one of those uh, perspectives in meteorology and why a lot of people say meteorology is about perspective. Of course, there's laws that govern how things um, take place, you know, all these equations and everything that go into this. But when it comes to naming and uh, basically warning, that all is just about perspective and how you want to provide that information to people. And in this situation, JMA doesn't deem that it deserves a name. So anyways, yeah, uh, what do you guys think? That's what I want to know. What do you think? Do you think this is a tropical storm or a, um, a tropical depression going extra tropical? Uh, subtropical is what I would call it if it was in the Atlantic. That's my, but it's in the Pacific. They don't have that category. So I would say tropical storm going extra tropical. I'm kind of leaning more towards what JTWC says. Anyways, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Stay safe out there. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions on top of that question. Yeah. I'm just rambling. Bye.